Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be flying the Schweitzer 126. I'm going to demonstrate a full spoiler landing and what happens when we're in ground effect. If you have an interest in flying, just look us up at texassoaring.org for more information about our glider club. The 126 was built between the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and this one at our club is a 1963 model, Sport. On the landing sequence, I'm going to demonstrate how ground effect really affects your glider. For simplicity, flying close to the surface increases air pressure on the lower wing surface nicknamed the cushion effect and thereby improves the aircraft's lift to drag ratio. The lower the wing is to the ground, the more pronounced the ground effect becomes. We could easily spend an hour on this subject, but just look up on Google ground effect. Another word might be induced drag as well. On this next image, I'll be displaying real flight time information. I used a built-in GPS data logger in the aircraft and added it to these video to see these effects in real time. Starting on the bottom left hand corner, that's ground speed, not air speed, so don't get that confused. GPS can only calculate ground speed. Top left hand corner is our flight time. In the center top, that's the compass heading. On the right hand side, that's our rate of climb indicator as measured in feet per minute. The bottom right hand corner is the altimeter, which is indicating feet above sea level. Alright, let's begin the landing sequence. There is TSA. I'll be entering the pattern for a left downwind for runway 18. Now we'll be turning left base. Now I'm going to keep my pattern nice and tight and I'm going to stay up high. But I want to activate full spoilers here in just a moment so you can see how it actually affects the aircraft. Okay, I'm turning base to final. I will have spoilers at 100%. You'll notice the airspeed is decreasing, even though my rate of sync is increasing. And that's what you want. That's what spoilers help you do. I have plenty of altitude. I know I have the runway made. That's definitely not a problem. But look at the airspeed. Still showing around 60, 60 miles per hour. Coming up in a few seconds, I'm going to actually touch the ground and then bring it back off about five feet and close the spoilers and watch what happens. Now I'm at about five feet and I'm just going to continue to float down that runway. The glider actually is flying at a much higher efficiency. And I'll continue to go. Look at my airspeeds reducing, but I'm still in the air, probably just a few feet off the ground. With the spoilers closed, I probably drifted down the runway about 1,500 feet. So when we're landing, those spoilers come in very handy to help reduce that ground effect. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. and Be sure and look up my other videos on flying at TSA. Whether you're a novice or a seasoned pilot wanting to get a glider add-on, be sure and look us up. Go to texassoaring.org. And one of the great things about flying gliders is you don't need a medical. And I'll tell you what's amazing is this glider is only $10 an hour to fly. $10 an hour. That's an amazing deal. So be sure and look us up. Just go to texassoaring.org for more information. And we'll see you in the air next time. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.